What is Cambia? If you visited Cambia today, most of what you would find would be trees. This video is supposed to be about what Cambia is, about an essence of some sort. A word which, in our modern, competitive context, usually means purpose. What function was Cambia created to accomplish? But there's a problem here. Trees don't have functions, at least not in the way that chainsaws do in any case. They don't really have purposes either, unless maybe their purpose is simply to be. Actually, I think that simply being is really the point, but if I ended the video here, it would be unsatisfying, so let's continue on. In the center of every tree, nestled within the bark and the wood, grows a thin layer of cells called the cambium. Cambia cells are special because unlike most tree cells, their fate is not yet sealed. A leaf cell will always be part of a leaf. A root cell is fixed to its role as root, but not so cambia. Cells in the cambium are faced with a choice. Divide inwards and become stabilizing wood, or divide outwards and become protective bark. The wood is called xylem and transports water to the leaves. The bark is called phloem and transports sugar to the roots. Both kinds of cells are unique, and the function of both is essential to the whole. But what, then, is the function of the cambium? What is its purpose? Cambia cells are undifferentiated. They contain latent potential. They could become anything. And that flexibility is what makes them so essential. You see, not all plants have a cambium ring. The annuals that grow on the edge of the forest, the wild flowers in the field, they do without it. They focus all their growth on their tips, and grow as much as they can in a single season, and then they die. It's only the trees, with their more far-sighted view of life, that possess cambia cells. Trees maintain some undifferentiated flexibility indefinitely. Cambia is critical if you want to grow wider instead of just taller. That is, cambia is critical if you want to grow for a very long time. If you visited Cambia today, most of what you would find would be trees. And if you visited Cambia in a century, most of what you would find would be trees. So maybe what I'm trying to say is that the essence of Cambia is something like a tree, but no, that's not quite it. Cambia is its buildings and its people just as much as it is its forest. What I'm trying to capture here with these words is a kind of robust flexibility. Cambia is not actually about the trees, or the buildings, or the people at all, but about the relationships between them. Inside a tree, the cambium hosts a sort of dialogue between the various parts. Xylem here, phloem there, it says. The cambium ensures that everything fits together into a cohesive whole, and the same goes for community. To say that a community's purpose is simply to be a community seems empty somehow, so let me clarify as I conclude. A community needs to be flexible if it is to last for a long time, so the purpose of Cambia is to hold space for the constant conversation that the many parts require in order to remain connected. It's that conversation, that interaction, that transforms a place into a home.